Does obesity matter? Wow. People who are clinically obese, that's a body mass index of 30.1 30, uh, 30 or more, um, or a weight generally 30 pounds, roughly over standard weight, they have three times the risk of having high blood pressure. One of the reasons why this matters is that high blood pressure is the single leading indicator for heart disease. And it is often silent. Sometimes the first sign of high blood pressure is a blood vessel that blows out in the brain. Okay? First and last sign. The risk of heart disease is increased by a factor of three in people who are clinically obese. Type 2 diabetes, 18 times as common in people who are obese. In the morbidly obese, those who weigh 100 pounds or more, it is 98 times as common as a normal weight person. Makes that much of a difference. Gallbladder disease. Who needs a gallbladder? The surgeons need a gallbladder. <laughs> it's their bread and butter. We can get along without it, but the fact is that people who are overweight or obese, especially those who yo-yo diet, have a 21 times increase in the rate of gallbladder disease. Boy, this is something. Uh, would this matter if you knew that you could dramatically reduce your risk of dementia by maintaining normal weight? Um, if that won't work, maybe this one will. Pelvic dysfunction. What does that mean? It means erectile dysfunction, for one thing, for men. It means having various gynecological problems for a woman just because they're overweight. Won't go into the clinical discussion of that, but just know it's a significant difference. Four times as frequent is a significant difference. There are other perils associated with fat. One is poor immune function. Another is that obese people have greater mortality from influenza. I don't know how many of you saw the article about three months ago uh, of 10 patients who died of swine flu in Minnesota. Nine of them were obese. My bet is that the 10th one probably had normal weight, was probably normal weight obese, had excess body fat. Obesity by itself is a risk factor for infectious problems. Another one is poor wound healing. Obese people simply don't heal as well after surgery, and they have more surgical complications. Deep vein thrombosis, what's called economy class syndrome, where you form blood clots in your legs from sitting on an airplane for a while. It can be on a train or a car or just sitting at a desk. That risk is multiplied in patients who are obese. 14, times, 14 different types of cancer have unequivocally been associated with obesity. A lot of that has to do with immune function. A lot of that has to do with hormone balance. But the fact is that you increase your risk of cancer simply by being obese or overweight. Patients who are obese have a greater risk of asthma and arthritis. And the bottom line is that obesity and good health are mutually exclusive. There are no exceptions.